Sherwood Forest in 12th century England rings again with the cries of Robin Hood and his band of merry outlaws who rob the rich and give to the poor. But this time, they welcome into their group a new member, adventure-loving, sharpshooting, golden archer. So step back with us into the glorious days of history and witness a tale never before told. A tale of the kitchen boy who was destined to fight side by side with Robin Hood and whose name was destined to strike terror to all oppressors of humanity. As night falls over the gloomy castle of the Sheriff of Nottingham, a lone miserable figure stoops in contemplation. I must rid me of my mortal enemy, Robin Hood, or my rule over this county shall be threatened sorely. Ho, oh boy! Bring my tankard of ale! Quickly, thou knave! A few minutes later, a wan, slight figure of a boy steps out of the shadows. Must I wait all night for you to serve me, silly no good? Pardon, sire, I hurried as fast as I could. When the Sheriff of Nottingham calls, hasten, fool! Oh, get back to thy hovel, and mind thou jump when I call thee again. I have important things on my mind this night. Down into the dingy servants' quarters in the massive cellars goes the boy. Ned, my boy, what has happened? He struck me again, father. And there, sir beggar, is proof of what I've been telling you. My lord the sheriff is so angered at Robin Hood that he mistreats us meanly. Well, the time draws closer toward a fight to the death between those two, and I, for one, do not care who wins as long as this trouble ends quickly. Oh, Father, you don't mean that. Robin Hood is a good man. Oh, this trouble is not his doing. He only wants the poor to obtain justice. Oh, I see thou son thinks very kindly of the outlaw Robin Hood, eh? Oh, tis true. I wish I were old enough to join his band. Uh, tis but the recklessness of youth. He adores the scoundrel. Bursting with admiration for Robin Hood, Ned the kitchen boy dons his homemade archery costume. There! Do I not look like one of Robin's band of merry outlaws, beggar man? Indeed, he is lucky who admires Robin Hood. At that moment, a servant dashes in with startling news. Robin Hood! He's here! On the castle grounds! Robin, Robin Hood? Hood? Pretty gossip, what is this tale you bring? Tis no tale, tis truth! A spy brought my lord the news! A search is being made for the bold outlaw! The sheriff hides in his room, but he wants us to have courage. In the meantime, a ring of guards is thrown round the castle. The cook leaves to spread the news, and Ned's father prepares ale for the sheriff. Robin Hood, here? Oh, if only I could see him for a moment. There is a thousand pounds reward for his capture. Off with thy costume and take this ale. Well, tell me, mine host, wouldst thou surrender Robin for the reward? No, my son is right. Robin Hood is a champion of the poor. I could not turn him over to the sheriff. Tis all I wanted to know. Quickly, the beggar tears off his outer garments to reveal himself as... Robin Hood! At thy service, my friends. Robin Hood himself, I can't believe it. I have a plan whereby we can make my lord, Sir Sheriff, quite upset. Listen while I tell you. A few minutes later in the sheriff's room. The outlaw, here, in my very palace, my life is in danger. Who, who is there? Here are, my lord, Sheriff. In high time, too, enter thou, knave. Zounds! It's Robin Hood! I'm doomed! Ah, a good day to meet thee, my bonny lad. I've come to claim the reward for my capture. D -d 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 Don't come closer! I I'll, I'll kill you! Tis a pity you've become afflicted with stuttering. Methinks I have a cure for that. Robin whips out an arrow and flings it like a dart. Do you like my cure, Sir Sheriff? Take the reward, take it! Only spare me! Spare me! Here, a thousand pounds, good Robin Hood. But thou won't harm me, wilt thou? So it's good Robin now, is it? I shall lock thee up whilst I'm gone, so you won't change heart. Quickly, Robin rushes back to his friends in the cellar. Look, the sheriff has presented me with my weight in gold. For the gold, mine host, is for thee. Buy thyself a happy future. In return, give me the lad. He has the blood of adventure in his veins, and I shall handle him properly. Or take him, Sir Robin. At that moment. Oh, God! Robin Hood is in the castle. Quickly, get him! My lord raises a merry din. Quick, let us be on our way, Ned. Goodbye, father. But dashing down the long hall, they find their way blocked by the guard. There he is, get him! At Zooks, is it fight you want? Agonized death cries rent the halls of the castle as the merry chief of Sherwood Forest and his young aide rain a shower of arrows into the ranks of the sheriff's henchmen. Out of my way, varlets. We would make our way out of here. Hey! 
but more men come charging toward the battle royal. Hurry! There's a thousand pounds reward for his capture! Ah, uh, Ned, my lad, I fear we are undone. Psst! What's that? Alas, fair lady, must we fight thee too? If you value your lives, enter quickly. I am Diane, the sheriff's niece. I despise his treatment of you, Robin Hood, and I wish to help you escape. I bow to thy good taste, fair lady. What proposes to you? A few minutes later, three lovely girls leave Diane's apartment for a stroll. Have a care, ladies. Robin Hood is about. Outside the castle. Ah, it is good to be rid of these. Fair Diane, many thanks from the bottom of my heart. And as for you, my lad, I give you this golden arrow I once won as a prize for my archery. You have won it for your valor, and from now on you shall be known as Robin Hood's aide, the Golden Archer. Oh, thank you, Sir Robin. Now we're off to join the rest of my merry band. Farewell! Farewell, brave Robin and Golden Archer. Do not forget me. Don't fail to watch and enjoy the next thrilling episode of The Golden Archer. For the best in comic magazine story dubs, remember, the public domain comic book network tops them all. Mine hostess for thee, buy thyself a happy future. In return, give me the lad. I shall handle him properly. On the next, to catch a predator. Wow.